what's up guys welcome baby no excuse november man we're keeping on this week moving forward this week talking about how we can give away our time we want to make sure that we don't waste any moments of our time and so we've begun yesterday and we're moving forward this week tracking every minute of our day looking at through day by day of how we spend our time recognizing that it's not something that we will have an unlimited amount of it's something that we're going to run out of and so we have to spend our time wisely and so yesterday we looked at how and why we want to do that and today we're going to talk about uh, spending time in scripture i believe one of the most important things that we can do is to intentionally spend time in scripture every day more important than instagram more important than face space more important than working out more important than anything we can do is finding time in each part of our day to read scripture now, that doesn't mean that if we spent that we need to spend four or five eight hours a day reading scripture though we can but that doesn't mean that we have to spend uh, uh there's this magic ratio of, of time that we have to spend in scripture the point is though that we have to be intentional and we must spend time in scripture and what I want us to do th today and even for the rest of this week is spend some time reading Psalm 119. And one of the reasons that I want us to, to read Psalm 119 is first because it's a longer chapter. And so there's 176 verses in it. And so it's something that's, that's longer than we would normally read in just one setting. So we have to intentionally each day, if you read about 25 verses a day, you would work through the entire chapter in one week. So it gives us just a little bit of, it's an introductory exercise on how we can spend some time every day intentionally carve out a few minutes with a plan to work through all of Psalm 119 in, in, in one week. Another reason I want us to check out Psalm 119 is because the author in Psalm 119 is writing and he's describing about his love for God's law. When he writes about uh, throughout Psalm 119 about how much he loves the law, how much he loves the word, it's easy for us today to think that he's referring to the entire Bible. When he writes about and talks about the law or the decrees or the ordinances or the word, what he's speaking of is in fact uh, the Torah or the first five books. Uh, uh, most likely he would have had at a minimum uh, what we would call the first five books of the Old Testament. That's what he would have had. He wouldn't have known scripture or a canon like we do. Um, and, and when he would speak of the word, he would speak of the spoken word or, or the, uh, uh, the the Hebrew word would literally mean like the, the utterances or the, the sayings of God. So he wouldn't know like we would know scripture. And he writes uh, and, and from the first person uh, just declaring his love for the law and, and the impact that it makes on his life and how he desires to know it and, and treasure it in his heart and, and, and on and on and on about how good it is and how good God is for giving the Torah. In much the same way, you and I can have a love for what we know to be scripture, for our canon, uh, our, our, our collection of scriptures uh, that we have today. We can have a love for that scripture in the same way and know that it will help to guide us like Psalm 119. It'll be a light into our path in the same way as the Torah was for him. And so we can begin to have that love, that passion for it, and let it shape and change us just as the author of Psalm 119 did. So I want to encourage you this week as you're taking track and, and giving away time, tracking how you spend your time, be sure that as you schedule out your day, you make some intentional time to read scripture. As you read it, read it, take notes, ask questions. I hope that you come to love scripture the way that this guy, the author of Psalm 119, has come to love or, or loved the Torah. And so I hope that it changes your life and you become dedicated to it and to the God who, but more importantly, to the God who gave it, just as this guy did. I love you guys. I remember our memory verse this week is Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 and 16. I love you guys. Have a great week.